In this video, we're going to cover the six steps required for Z-axis calibration. But what is Z-axis calibration? Well, when the printer first starts to make a part or print a part, the bill plate will come all the way down to the bottom and then it will come up one layer height. And that is typically about 50 microns. So it must know where zero is to be able to come back up the 50 microns. If the if it's at that proper height, then it can go ahead and make a very good first layer. If it's not at that height, that first layer is in jeopardy. And if the first layer fails, there's a real good chance that the entire print will fail. Okay, let's go ahead and go through the, the half dozen steps. First thing we do is to turn the power on. And it takes about 45 seconds to have it reach the the home screen right now is exchanging information with the with the computer system and it's about to get its IP address while we're waiting it's, it's worth commenting that we want the vat to be empty of resin and we also want the bottom of the bill plate to be clean Okay, here's the IP address in the home screen. The IP address is 169.254.58.149. In the upper left-hand corner of the screen, we have a gear icon, which is for settings, and we'll press that. Then it shows the Z-axis, and we'll press that. Then it shows another icon over here that tells us we're going to do the, the calibration. On the right-hand side, in the middle, is a little round kind of a uh, circular icon and we'll press that. So then it says please remove the model. Well they're talking about anything that might be attached to the bottom of the bill plate. Then it says clean the material container. They're talking about having a clean vat and we've already, already talked about that. The final thing it says is loosen four screws. So we'll take the Allen wrench that came with the printer and we'll go ahead and loosen the four screws. So if you unturn them about a half a turn or more, it's not critical how far we go. And then on the when we loosen unloosen the fourth screw, the bill plate becomes loose. And so that that's what we need. So now we can go ahead and press next. So now this is going to come down to the bottom and it takes roughly a minute so I'll go ahead and speed that up and I'll, I will restart the video when we get you know, close to the bottom. Okay now it's getting near the bottom and the bill plate will rest on the bottom of the, of the vat on top of the FEP film and so now it's quit moving so now it says lock the four screws. So we'll go ahead and we'll hold the bill plate down gently with our fingers and then tighten these in kind of a crisscross pattern. I'm going to start in the rear right and then come to the front left. And then to the front right. And finally the fourth screw is on the rear left. Now it doesn't make any difference where you start. You could even probably s skip the crisscross pattern, but you ought to hold the, the plate down because you definitely want that all the way down to, you know, to establish the zero reference. So it says complete the platform calibration. Okay. So now we touch that and that will bring it all the way up to the top. It takes about a minute again, so I'll go ahead and I'll, I will speed this up and then meet you at the top. Okay, now it's getting near the top and it will stop. And then the last thing we can we need to do is to come up here in the upper left hand corner and press a little icon that looks like a house to take us back to the home screen. So that completes the Z-axis calibration. Very easy. It ought to be done periodically. And uh, the mechanics are so good 
that you don't have to do very often, but it's just it's just cheap insurance to do it occasionally, maybe every every week or two or whatever, based on how often you use it. Okay, that's it.